Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Spain and Norway and Ireland and recognition and responses. And we are going to talk about what it means not just on the surface level, but on the deeper level when it comes to the diplomatic side. We'll talk about how things might be influenced because of this. Okay, so if you missed the news because it occurred while most of y'all were asleep, Spain, Norway, and Ireland recognized the state of Palestine. I believe it becomes official on May 28th. The obvious first question is, well, does this mean that Palestine's a state? No. No. Recognition alone does not create a state. In fact, most countries in the world already recognize the state of Palestine. However, while most countries recognize that state, most Western countries do not. That's where this becomes kind of a big deal as far as signaling. Is this going to change the life of the average Palestinian? which I would like to remind everybody that should kind of be the goal in this conversation. Um, not right away, no. It's a morale boost. It is a morale boost. Now, what does it do? If it doesn't really create a state, if it's really just kind of adding on to a whole bunch of other countries who, who already believe that way, who, who have already taken those steps, and it's not going to affect the life of the average Palestinian beyond a morale boost, what does it actually do, if anything? It gets into some deeper diplomacy stuff, but there are two big signals being sent. The first is to the U.S. And it basically says, you're not actually in control of this. And it means it... Not just in the way that I've been saying on this channel, where the U.S. can't just make things happen. It means it that way. But it also is saying it in the sense of, you don't get to decide which route the rest of the world takes on this matter. Ireland and Norway, in particular, are definitely sending this message. Um... Ireland has, again, the long history. And then Norway, think Oslo. That message is definitely being sent. So, what other message is being sent? The other big development is that for a long time, there has been a concern in the Israeli government that, well, if bricks start falling out of the wall, the wall may fall. This might be something that sways even Netanyahu's government because these countries kind of expected, Ireland and Norway in particular, they would definitely be the next countries to do this. But what if it doesn't stop here? That's going to be the concern inside Netanyahu's government. Um, so, that's, those are the signals being sent, and they're intentional. One, it's telling the U.S., you don't own this situation. Other countries might decide to get involved on their own. And, lead follower, get out of the way. You, you know, you've gotten it this far with the mega deal, but apparently you can't close it. Maybe hand it off to somebody else to get it across the finish line type of thing. And then it is sending the message to the Israeli government, maybe we're just the first countries to do this because there are other countries that have more geopolitical sway that have been open to the idea. If you're looking at a map, look at France and Australia. Um, so that's the big news. This in and of itself doesn't do anything. It's that deeper diplomacy stuff. Now, what was the uh, response? The uh, foreign minister of Israel said, 
Ireland and Norway intend to send a message today to the Palestinians and the whole world. Terrorism pays. Um, l- let me tell you what probably was not good terminology. That's not going to to sway the Irish, I don't think. I think the only thing that might prompt is for a certain song about dreamers to be put on loop. Um, There are a number of countries that would not respond well to that particular uh, line of rhetoric. And Ireland is definitely one of them. But, I don't know, maybe that was another year. So, what else is going on? There will be a video coming out later today that I recorded last night that talks about Lindsey Graham saying stuff when he shouldn't. There might be more to this um, because he said something, and in that video I attribute it to the mega deal being pushed. But they may have known about this and there may be more to come. Um, Because he said kind of, in kind of a cryptic way, he said, you know, from what I understand, the ball is about to be in Israel's court. And Blinken was like, yeah, that's my assessment. This might have been that, but there might be more. Um, Or it could be about the mega deal. Um, So that's what's going on. Again, it's a morale boost, but this doesn't create a functioning state of Palestine. They have to have a government, security arrangements, and borders that are defined before that actually happens. Um, the, the long-standing thought process on this is that those borders would eventually be defined via a peace process, including Israel and directed by the United States. This, if it is the first bricks to fall in the wall, if enough bricks fall, all that changes. And all the commentary that foreign policy people have made over the last seven months, it all kind of becomes obsolete because a new card is played. Um, I don't anticipate that, and I don't think that most do, But, honestly, the only country I saw doing this was Ireland. That's why they're the only one that got a video about it in the past. The addition of Norway and Spain does make it a little bit more significant. Ireland was kind of... Ireland was anticipated. Norway could be expected. Spain, it it makes it a little bit more real as far as the bricks falling. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.